Greetings, this is J. Peter Brzezzi. The following demonstration is from my Exchange Server 2010 Unified Messaging Training Course. Okay, so let's get started. So we know in our company Globomantics, they acquired a Brazilian company a couple of years back. And so we expect that, being that sometimes there's going to be a crossover of employees, that we may need to provide an auto attendant that utilizes Portuguese. And so we know that when our employees go down to Brazil, the unified messaging server down there has an English auto attendant, and we want to be able to provide the same for those that are coming to Globomantics in New York. Now the two companies are separate, so we haven't addressed their needs before, and they actually have their entire structure on Exchange 2010, but it's separate from the Globomantics domain. So we're not too worried about them in terms of how they're set up, but we do want to provide this auto attendant. So in order to do that, we're going to check the language packs, the UM language packs, and of course, we're running service pack one, so we need to make sure we have the UM language packs for Exchange Server 2010 SP1. And we'll just scroll down, and here we see UM language pack, it's Portuguese for Brazil. So this happens from time to time. There's a variety of different ways that a language can be spoken. We know that because, of course, with English, there's the way that English is spoken in the UK, in the United States, and in other locations where English is the primary language. Well, the same is true with Portuguese. There's the Brazilian way, and then there's the European Portugal Portuguese way. So we want the Brazilian way of speaking Portuguese. We click Download. Let's save it. All right, so we'll just jump right to the end here. And we see we've downloaded the file. Now we can open the folder or just click Run. All right, and here's the license agreement. Let's go to a clean screen. So we'll accept the license agreement. We'll click Next. And again, it just reminds us what language we've downloaded. There's Portuguese, Brazil. We click Next. It goes through the readiness check. And we're looking good. We click Install. All right, and we have reached completion. We click Finish. Let's go back to our auto attendance. And now here, if we just open up the New York Auto Attendant and we go to Features, under Language, we now have Portuguese and English. So this is great. This is a lot of fun. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's create an Auto Attendant for our Brazilian visitors. New York Auto Attendant Portuguese. We'll associate it with the New York dial plan. Pilot identifier list. We can make this one 1313. And we'll create it as enabled and create it as speech enabled and click new. Now we go into the properties of the auto attendant. Let's go to features and let's choose Portuguese. We say OK. All right, let's dial that auto attendant. Bem-vindo ao atendente automático do Microsoft Exchange. Para contatar alguém específico, diga o nome da pessoa. Well, that's pretty awesome. So now we have an auto attendant that is Portuguese. All right, so just for the sake of some contrast, what we're going to do is use the English auto attendant because it really doesn't matter at this point if we use the English or the Portuguese auto attendant. And we're going to leave messages for Jane Smith. The first one will be in English. The second one will be in Portuguese. And you'll see that it doesn't really matter what language packs are installed because if the dial plan itself is not switched over to another language, and it has to be one that actually supports the voicemail preview side to things, well, then it's just going to transcribe it in English. 
So you'll get a chance to see what a mess that can be when someone is speaking a foreign language. So we're going to cut to the chase here. I'm just going to play the parts where I'm leaving the messages in English and then in Portuguese. And then we'll jump over to Jane Smith's system and we'll see what the voicemail preview does with it. To leave a message instead, press the pound key. Please leave a message for Jane Smith. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Hi Jane, this is Peter. I was hoping that we could meet today at 3 o'clock in conference room 1. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so now let's try leaving a message in Portuguese through the same auto attendant. Connecting you to Jane Smith. To leave a message instead, press the pound key. Please leave a message for Jane Smith. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Oi, tudo bem? Jane Smith, eu quero falar com você se você tem tempo. Tchau. All right, so now let's jump over to Jane's system and let's take a look at how those two messages translated using the English auto attendant. And you'll note that the first one probably did okay. The second one, not even close. It doesn't translate Portuguese if it's an English auto attendant. Let's jump over and have a good laugh. All right, so we look at the inbox here and the first voice message. Hi, Jane, this is Peter. I was hoping that we could meet today at 3 o'clock in conference room 1. Thanks, bye. Well, that's perfect. All right. The next one, falling through the main. Jane Smith, hey, okay. Oh, for our call to say to mostly think temple chow. <laughs> okay, so it got the chow. Um, so this is pretty much what happens if someone tries to leave a message in a foreign language here to Jane Smith through that auto attendant. Let's see if we can do a little bit better by calling through the Portuguese auto attendant. All right, so we dial the number. Bem-vindo ao atendente automático do Microsoft Exchange. Para contatar alguém específico, diga o nome da pessoa. Jane Smith. Jane Smith. É o nome correto? Sim. Pois não, discando. Please leave a message for Jane Smith. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Oi, tudo bem? Jane, eu quero falar com você se você tem tempo hoje. And as you can see, it pretty much is ruining my Portuguese here and translating it into something that's unrecognizable other than ciao. So what are we learning from this? Well, what we're actually learning is that not all UM language packs are the same. Unfortunately, what that means is that we don't have the ability with Brazilian Portuguese, with that type of auto attendant and such, to be able to have our speech recognized. So we would have to download a different language pack perhaps the Portugal one, in order to have voicemail preview. So for the sake of seeing this work, let's jump back over to the server and let's download the Portugal Portuguese language pack. And then we appreciate that changing the auto attendant is not going to help us at all, but instead we'll change the language on the dial plan itself just to show you that it really can transcribe my Portuguese for the email and also show you that when you do have a language chosen like Brazilian Portuguese where voicemail preview is not available if that is the language for the dial plan what happens when a message is left for a person where voicemail preview is not available thanks for watching for more information regarding our training please visit www.trainsignal.com